Man. Uh, everybody, I've got such, I've got such, I've got such fantastic news. I've got. radio. I. Every everyone, I have such sights to show you. Uh, we're oh, we're. Just make me feel like I'm a tiny person inside your mouth, Matt. Oh no. We're we're. Oh, no. We're gaming and Deadpool's here. We have such sights to show you. Uh, so to let <laughs> would want to see the inside of my chewy <laughs> I would hate to. Uh, so to give <laughs> to, to give everybody a little peek behind the scenes, um, my goal is to eventually have a log of me streaming all of the main story Metal Gear Solid games. I want I want you to be able to like watch me do a long play of this shit. But I'm not good with computers, and I did the first two hours and didn't die and did a great job. But the recording uh, screwed up a it little was, bit. It was the clinic. Yeah, and, and a real and a real asshole came into the chat and uh, showed their ass, and so we're redoing it. Um, but I was feeling bummed about having to sit in the quiet and game for two hours. Um, and a bunch of my, <laughs> all of my good friends are here, like uh, Cloud Strife and Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic. to help me <laughs> to help me get, <laughs> help me get through it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so everybody, so everybody, introduce yourselves uh, really quick. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm Tifa Lockhart. <laughs> hey, I'm Mallory. Kate Sip is my favorite character. <laughs> Kate Sip is actually the villain. I'm actually Bert, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this is Anthony. <laughs> well, I was actually the villain for a bit. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. No, I think you're I, the most well-behaved person on this stream right now. I think I might have. I think I might have configured my buttons in an odd way. Um, so I'm going to let it play the little intro thing. Uh, oh, I'm. I'm let not. It play, let it rip. Yeah, I'm not going to give them all the shit about the gene therapy and Big Boss and stuff because I. I think. I think. I think that. If you want to know, you'll look it up on a wiki, and I- this is not my normal spoilers aren't real bit. This is genuinely- you cannot meaningfully- spoiling things in Metal Gear Solid is like spoiling things in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is to say that <laughs> you- which is to say that you can learn the facts of what happens in the plot, but that won't tell you You what can happened. learn what happens, but until you put your peepers on uh, a grown man feeding a, a, a vampire baby its own poo-poo... <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're not gonna spoil a museum by telling your friend, yo, there's art in there. <laughs> yeah, like, I can... I can <laughs> yo, this is Metal Gear, do you know there's art? <laughs> yeah, I could, I could tell you the things that happen in Metal Gear Solid or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which have more in common than anyone would assume at a glance. <laughs> I could, I could <laughs> tell you, but you won't know. It's like, I could tell what you. Kind of things. <laughs> um, they have both well, have uh, they both have Snake. sexy sexy bisexual vampires in them. Um, uh, uh, Snake has a stand uh, called Big Boss. I know that. <laughs> yeah, that is canon. That's true. Um, but yeah, it's like I could tell you what uh, what sex, which we've all had, of course, is like. I could I could or I could tell you the motions involved in sex, which again we are all yeah, sex uh, sure but, uh, <laughs> but we all know. We all know. So why would I? Um, and we're gonna be talking over this, viewers. It's late at night. Uh, I've had a big plate of spaghetti. Uh, we're getting real goofy. Um, I can't be the only I mean, one who gets spaghetti crazy. <laughs> Meredith, you are the only one who gets my, I know spaghetti. <laughs> no, I know, well, it was my dad's spaghetti, actually, was the spaghetti that usually made me go crazy. I'm winking at everyone who knows if that's a euphemism for it. It's a euphemism <laughs> for the fact that my dad made super good spaghetti. Um, <laughs> uh, so... Listeners who are able to read the subtitles and also listen to me caper like an animal. Um, <laughs> I, when I was a little kid, me and my sister were not allowed to have my dad's special spaghetti or spaghetti from fancy restaurants on weeknights because whenever we would eat spaghetti, we would get so silly and crazy that we were just like unmanageable and wouldn't go to bed until like <laughs> midnight or one in the morning. Somehow y'all's bodies like turn carbs directly into like high fructose corn syrup yeah and y'all just bay blade let it rip right <laughs> yeah we got crazy <laughs> later flew in right on the fire and so even though i i like i've talked to a couple of other people who grew up poor about this and they've all said like spaghetti reminds me of 
poverty meals growing up. And I did also grow up poor, <laughs> but spaghetti just reminds me of, like, getting wild. Um, spaghetti just <laughs> reminds me of all the times I would slurp that good, slurp that good pasta stuff and then turn into a eight-year-old Kesha song. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mom used to serve us this shit called the, she would just call people chow that was just rice and ground beef, and I like, didn't realize, and it just like put soy sauce have, on it. Have so I didn't chew no, wet like, food. Well, I didn't realize it because like it was just like who cares? I I was super picky when I was like twelve or whatever, and it was like fine, you know, wolf that shit down, and then I can go back to playing over playing video games and being overstimulated. But like, my best friend, they had like a whip it over there. That they treated really nicely. And they, uh, your best friend was doing there, your best. This friend was Best doing friend. whippets? You know, like an Italian gray, like a gray oh, goat or something. Oh, but yeah, oh, they had what? that sort of dog, like an ex-racing dog or something, and I got over after having that for dinner, and it was eating the same thing, and I was like, oh, this probably means something, huh? Oh, really but quick. I'm too young to internalize it. Yeah. Uh, could everybody type a bunch of nonsense into the chat just to cycle everything that's in it to the top? Um, or off I of the top? a way for you to clear it. What I'm going to- well, I don't feel like looking up how to do that, because everything I, I know about- Yeah, if you just type a bunch of gibberish, it's a me, Mario. This is great. Um, and also because if it's I- just If I click away from here. the- Oh, okay. If I gotcha. click away from the window of my PS1, that's a real PS1, oh, this song every time. Uh, if I click away from this window- um, Here, hold on. Uh, PogChamp. Uh, it didn't work. Poggers. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> oh. There is that. Know. Is oh, that. Yeah, we got all these weird fucking. <laughs> what are these things? Uh... It, that's Poggers. <laughs> I've got a cat doing the Ahagal face. What the fuck? I don't, I don't think that's Ahagal. <laughs> This is the this is this is a family stream. This is, um, this is a family stream. I don't think that that's. Uh, I don't. I also don't think that's Ahagao. There we go. Is that's that very is that Rosa Luxemburg? That's that's cat. It what looks like Rosa. It looks like Rosa Luxemburg. The most recent. The most recent uh, one. There we go. Uh, there's the pog. That's and cool. the Power Rangers lightning bolt. Uh, uh, but yeah. I'm I'm not good at putting like bleeps and bloops into audio and video files yet. So if we could, I know that you probably you my dear sweet oh, friends probably know oh, a lot of really cool slurs to describe like Lithuanian people. But if we could just like oh no <laughs> yeah if we could just yeah, keep those could, off the stream if we could keep the Pepe hands and <laughs> Lithuanian knuckles out of the chat please. yeah oh what? my god this is a good, this is a good I stream. I specifically said not to do that. Well, don't worry. I'll edit the video and I'll bleep it for okay. you. Okay. No one will ever know. And uh, then you no can, shame. and then you can directly stimulate the small bones of my ear with an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Using nanotechnology, you can use nanotechnology to uh, apologize to the small bones in my ear. Using uh, using a series of peptide baths that will make me immune to any of your further uh, jokes and japes in the future. So this is a sneaking mission? <laughs> this is a sneaking mission, and the... the oh, this is the Tenchu Stealth Assassin. Yeah, this yeah. is a sneaking mission... Halifax <laughs> Explosion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a sneaking what? mission, and the riffs, the riffs are all SOP, which is to say uh, silly on the property. Shot and this off. isn't... This isn't canon. Uh, the first one, I was a uh, very good. We're good, We're good uh, now, <laughs> This the first one. I was a very good, good, good player girl. Uh, but in this one, it's gonna be a real bloodbath, y'all. Uh, <laughs> for, for the kills. Oh my god. <laughs> I do love. Look, the the part the part of me that's a little kid, the the part of me that like never developed a moral center as a child, still thinks it's very funny when you like. Tap the square button very fast. Shut up. Slay. Are you um, all the fucking diegetic tutorials shit. in this series? Yeah. It's so 
It's really I love good. Games that acknowledge that they're a game in yeah. a way that's like fun for presumably the people who thought of it and the people who are like interacting with it from this. Side. <laughs> it's a fucking blast. Yeah, the first time I, I was a little kid when I played this, I've got to repeat all my little epiphanies and stuff. But I was a little kid. The ooh, another ration. The first time I played this, I was a little kid. Why did I even need this ration? And um, the closest I'd ever gotten to anything like this was like in Yoshi's Island you hit the little tutorial boxes and they kind of talk to you sort of as if you're Yoshi. But like, this was the first like grown up game I ever played. And then I opened, I opened it up and <laughs> the grandpa from Ben 10, uh, Grizz told me to press the action button in a grizzly voice. And I was like, uh, now I'm gaming with power. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I knew. And like, and that helps too. But this was one of the first games that like really made a big deal about sort of adhering to, like production standards of big budget movies and stuff like a prestige video game basically mm -hmm. yeah this is the sopranos uh hold on i'm, I'm about to i'm about that's, to ruin this man's whole career uh, i'm about to end that, this man's how, whole career that's how mafia works remember that's how mafia works. <laughs> I, I do remember i made one of those jokes I today i didn't even need to kill that i didn't need to kill that man but I did. You could have just walked past it. Could, no. You could have walked away. Just walk away. You just have you just have small boxes of food all around you, um, in this small underground facility. Well, that's what life is like in New York, you know. Hey, only in New York, baby. More like Zoo York, uh, because it's so crazy here. Uh, and of course, my dear sweet friends can't hear it because there was only so much fiddling with the audio I could handle. But uh, whom amongst us remembers the like bow bow ba down bow bow the the like cyberpunk ass music that this game has? It's iconic. It has night disrobes. Mhm. Mm Which is so funny because I didn't know that there were Metal Gear games before this one because I certainly, as a little kid, was not watching all those fucking briefing files. Which is why I'm. Mm -hmm. Taking everybody yeah, else. That's the, funny, that's the funny thing. Like, uh, I had Metal Gear, the original Nintendo game, and I played and uh, wasn't ever able to beat it. But I it's played it. It's pretty cryptic. <laughs> oh, it's extremely hard. I was fucking six. <laughs> um, but, like, these came out, and I just didn't get a chance to play because my home life was very uh wild and crazy at that time mm -hmm. uh, a lot of like crash of it was like credit it was like living with crash bandicoot yeah yeah uh in the fact <laughs> stop that was doing a lot of meth <laughs> anthony uh, it's a family what? pod no it's absolutely families do meth together <laughs> stop <laughs> um well <laughs> Haven't y'all ever? Wait, I thought Breaking Bad. I know all about math. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, you, you know. Doomer pill, Doomer pill, Joker mask off. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm being, I'm being a hypocrite. I'm being a hypocrite right now. I was invited on to interview for a podcast, and I was like, no, I think, I think the, 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 the moralizing scream team that's constantly yelling at everybody for putting like complicated material in their art is not respecting teens enough. Because when I was a teen, I was, you know getting into all kinds of trouble and I hated being talked down to and then Anthony brings up meth once on my video game stream and I'm like Anthony I'm gonna get in trouble Anthony <laughs> Anthony please Anthony yeah, please the real Puritans around here. I want here Anthony listen Anthony Pennsylvania because <laughs> I'm gonna communicate the mood that I'm in right now yeah I want grilled cheese I want grilled cheese oh, you want grilled cheese. <laughs> I want fruit gummy I want fruit gummy I'm baby Food, food gummy, 10,000 likes. Yes. Uh, Matt, could you explain to Anthony that I'm baby? That, <laughs> anyway, I'm baby. <laughs> He's baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Batman's here! Please don't invite the bad chimichanga man again. Wasn't that. Oh you know, it's weird. I've never heard Anthony and Deadpool in the same chat. Oh god, there's more Kodak conversation. Uh, <laughs> Mayor, later, um, I, I propose that we um, we do a uh, review of the cinnamon toast ice cream. Uh, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. oh no! Cinnamon what? Cinnamon toast crunch ice cream. I like it. It tastes good. 
the ongoing we, saga. We need a review. You, you ain't meant for that sponsorship. <laughs> I have. I feel I like I kind of want it now. To be honest, they both sold me on it. I feel like I'm being. I feel like I'm being. I feel like I'm being gaslit. What are we? What's happening? Um, um, it's it's just okay. Like, so so here's the thing about it. It's a white ice cream. So it's a little subpar. I like it. It's it, like um, it, if it, you. So if you if you made ice cream out of like the leftover milk at the bottom of like you know, cinnamon oh cinnamon crunch. toast uh, cinnamon toast but, crunch ice cream but but it's two mm -hmm. percent not like skim or half okay uh, okay I'm fine with that that sounds good it sounds like it sounds you, like you want it full bodied yeah it sounds uh, ooh, it sounds like cinnamon ice cream with but the toast chunks of it in it which is the best part. Okay. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, that sounds really I good. I might be in on that. That sounds, sounds really good. Yeah, that sounds good in hail. Wow. It's just like a little quote unquote like watery. Just that two percent flavor. Just light. Yeah. Ugh. I just yeah, remembered I left a pot of. I left. Just remembered I left a pot of beans and rice up in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to go and put that in Tupperware after I'm done okay, here. Okay. It's uh, fine. The genome strangle, soldiers. Strangle water. that man to death and then get your beans and rice. I got it. I want. I don't want beans and rice though. I didn't make a like Rorschach. I found out. Uh, I've been. I've been. I made the switch to dry beans, um, oh, and man. I've made two. Well, the world, right? it, it does if the beans actually soak properly, but my beans keep being hard, um, and I think it's because my water is hard. I looked up. Are your beans? Can... Uh, are your beans small enough? <laughs> my beans are very small. Ooh, okay. uh, they are small. They are. They are smaller than. How long than the... are you soaking your beans? Uh, like eighteen hours. Ooh. Oh, that should be good then. And then I simmer. How long are you boiling them? Boiling. Bring them to a boil and then simmer. How how long are you letting oh. them simmer after that? Uh oh. Simmer. I'm. Uh -oh. Yeah. Putting them in water. Yeah, and then you're cooking them, right? Well, then I cook the dish. Well, yeah, how long are you cooking the bean? Oh, like t two minutes? Wait, what? No, Meredith. Stop. Oh, I'm going back to cans. I hate this. Every you, no, you have to cook the beans for at least 45 minutes. I have to do what to what? You soak beans. For 18 hours to 24 hours, you got that right. Okay. And then afterwards, you drain the water off of them, you rinse them, and then you put them in a pot with water and you cook them for 45 minutes. At least. Bare minimum. I feel like I'm in bean trouble. I feel like I'm being. <laughs> you may be. I feel like. I feel like I'm being. You have done I'm... bean crimes. I feel like. You will answer for it. I feel like I'm being. I'm... Some... I'm really sorry that your first session of Metal Gear Solid, you had to be put in bean prison. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't believe that from now on the only... I, I can't believe I was really hoping to play Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I've even got the car I've got the cartridge for it and everything. Oh, yeah. Are you, you have to turn it from a... Load, are you going straight from the soak and just loading up these bean bullets I... into your dish? <laughs> Actually, anybody, anybody can make this mistake. Okay, I I put I, yeah, in honestly. New York. I put them in the pot. I boil them for two minutes. I oh, leave no, them honey. in the pot for a very long time, oh, and no. then I cook with them exactly the same way I would with canned beans. Mm, mm, that's why you're eating drywall beans. <laughs> it's an well, unfortunate part of the process, but first you turn them from a dead bean into an alive bean, and then you turn the alive bean into a cooked bean. Canned beans are already cooked beans. Oh, so I she was eating alive beans. Were they like screaming when you bit into them? Yeah, yeah, yeah I they, 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 they turn red. They hiss. Uh, in the <laughs> I did. I did think that was odd. Uh, <laughs> I loved how they screamed like a human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got your shaft grenades. Well, of course, there's a surveillance camera, dipshit. I was so disappointed when I realized the chaff grenades weren't real. Are they not? Mm. I mean, I like, they the are. chaff as a concept is real, but in the sense that you'd be able to make use out of it in, like, a personal scale, it's something you pull out of your backpack. No, not really. I mean, what's their function? It's uh, they put... like a thing Yeah, you explain that, that. That, like, 
it's a huge cloud of strips of metal that are designed to reflect uh, like a radar seeking missile or a radar guidance gun. Uh -oh. Just because basically you have this big cloud of angles floating around, and then the oh, radar Jesus. goes fucking crazy because it hits it and reflects off that oh, well. and goes in every direction. And then theoretically to a radar or radar radar guided missile, that would be a more oh. important and bigger looking thing than the airplane that popped it out. So, so it's like that the radar version of a flare, but in the sense that like I'm gonna shoot a handgun at you ranges, or like I'm trying to make a camera turn off, chap isn't gonna do anything. So, I've... um, did you accidentally shoot that man while he was sleeping? Is that what happened? Um, I wanted to go ape shit. I was tired of being nice, and I wanted to go shit. ape this shit. This game has that effect on people. You well, have to be nice for a long time. So you remember, you remember, uh, real heads know that I was very stealthy. Um, I was doing a very time. I was doing a very good job the first time. Um, yeah, and, big boss rank and everything. I mean. Yeah, it's well I was doing a good job. It's late at night mm -hmm. though, and I'm feeling uh, It's the spaghetti talking. It's the spaghetti talking. It's late at night, I'm feeling goofy, I'm feeling silly. Uh, and look I make a good time. Um, I think when I was you behave for a long time, but then it gives you the sequence where you run up the stairs with the famas and a bunch of stun grenades as fast as you can. Oh, and, and it's and, and it's awful. Basically, exactly the right time. And remember, it hasn't taught you how to run with your weapon out at that point. Yeah, that's that's like something that you just have to learn through trial and error. Yeah, um, firing from the hip is weird at that point. I well, am. I don't you think I ever read the back of the jewel case. And I am. Tell you. I am gonna kill this man. though. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a, in this man's whole As career. Um, I remember so. looking at this, you know, back in the day. I was, I was still like, you know, aware of. What it the fuck? Like, wow, Come on! Come like, on! Like... Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> they'll never get. They'll never as, get me now. I think as a kid, I never. I mean, I did <laughs> go up there later, but. Yeah. This I is never the. Down there the first time. This is the way I always do it. Um, I always go through the bottom, I take out the sleeping dude. And... Well, I like to, normally, the thing that I like about these games is that you can minimize the number of deaths, but this is a split in the timeline. This is a dead timeline uh, that doesn't count, yeah, morally. This is, this is yeah, this is Yeah. Time paradox. Pime, pime paradox. Mm -hmm. I, the thing I love about McDonald Miller is just how unique his voice is. Oh, yeah, it... it... <laughs> It doesn't sound like anybody else. It doesn't sound like anybody else. Um, yeah, that's a uh, liquid snake, right? Shut up! Every day I feel my missing leg, my missing arm. Why were we put here just to suffer? Uh, if, if that's Liquid Snake's voice, then yes, that is Leonardo from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the animated series. I see. All right. Um, anybody whose favorite Ninja Turtle is Leonardo or Raphael... Get out of my stream. Oh, fuck. See y'all later. <laughs> yeah, bye, loser. Bye, cop. Who um, the staff? Uh, Donatello, Donatello, who Donatello. is cool. Hell Donatello yeah. and Michelangelo are the Philosopher Queen's turtles. Uh, Leonardo and Raphael are for people who have a brain the exact shape and quality of a medieval no, peasant. No, no, mm, Just no. a sphere okay, going so down the marble it... track. <laughs> Raphael is for the same people who, whenever they role play in uh, any sort of tabletop game, they go, uh, my lineman is chaotic evil. Alright? Raphael is for people who just don't know how to think, and uh -huh. they're just like, oh yeah, I'm a wild card, this is cool. Uh -huh. Leonardo is for the refined. Leonardo uh -huh. is for the person who knows what they want in life. Everybody uh, should be a Donatello or Michelangelo in my opinion. Yeah, Matt, Matt, what do you think about these turts? Oh, Matt's quick. Oh, no, I, I caught him sleeping. I caught him snoozing. <laughs> you know, if you think about... that, you know, as a cancer, I appreciate Oh, we're bringing astrology. Oh, is that Joe? Do I hear Joe? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard a Joe. Um, you do not. And hey, listen, everybody. There is a tier. If you want to get in on these shenanigans and uh, japes, there is a tier uh, on. I'm not press. I'm not countenancing this call on the Patreon that will get you an invite 
to the Discord, and then we'll all uh, go to the movie theater with you and laugh at your jokes, and everyone will stand and clap. Uh, but we will. It it will be a good way. It'll it'll be a good way to make friends. You know. Yeah. Um. Because I think, I think, uh, the people who are on the stream are definitely coming off as people who would be good to know, and not as a pack of slavering <laughs> fucking jackals who love to say bad things about the Irish. <laughs> Well, if we're going to talk about... No, uh, we are not going... <laughs> we are not going to talk about Interpol crime statistics in the Irish. <laughs> no, uh, I'm saying that uh, during those uh, troubled times... Stop it! We stop it! Just... Like, no, I am going... I am going to have you... cool and good. I'm going to have you bleep literally this whole thing or we aren't friends anymore. <laughs> I'm going, I literally know an Irish trans woman who lives in New Zealand now, and I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell but on I you. I think it was cool and Stop! good. Stop! Bleep! 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 <laughs> bleep. We're libs. You have to pretend to be a lib. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> yo. Do you really want me to voice? do this bit? <laughs> oh, do you really want me to do this bit? I want you... So please, please, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I will yet say Oh, that's, this that is the lib bit right there. Oh, God. Oh, this is, the PS4 stick is not very, Jeff Dietrich, right? the PS4 stick is not very good for this. Um, You're doing fine. Uh, I feel like I missed, did I get the thermal goggles? Uh, Pretty check. sure you have them. No, I missed them. Oh, you can't get the thermal goggles. I don't think you can get them now. You have to wait. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Like, isn't there a specific thing that you need to get them for, like landmines or something? Yes. No, you get them up here. Hold on. I'm going it's crazy. Like... They're not mandatory, but uh, isn't the upper right corner, doesn't that have something like that? In my no. bottom floor? Uh, Maybe. Um, um, but we're we're back seating and uh, I love highly illegal and we shall uh, be banned now. I love back seating. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on, let me just call in the mods. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, oh, we're all here. Ask not for whom the mod tolls. The mod tolls for thee. Um, no, I come back with the level one key card. Oop. Yeah, I think you need the key drops card. Drops in There's something in uh, here which you already got. Shot. I did get it. It was just like chaff grenades. Um, I really think it's. Something's in the bottom right on the I'm, first floor. I, I am uh, the, so the SOCOM silencer. self-respect? Yes. I'm going to have to figure out how to make the D-pad work because the PS4 stick is the not... Analog, yeah. Oh, um, it's not great. Later on, uh, you just use x pattern to tell it that the D-pad buttons are up, down, left, and right. And, and by... Right. Up, up, down, 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 down. Uh, and by get... Mm -hmm the d-pad to work i mean find a controller with a working d-pad for my right because PS1. we're playing this on the uh -huh. original console um yeah absolutely. as intended and this is uh highly legal yeah uh hideo kojima if he found out that we were playing his classic game on anything but the original medium that he intended he would uh, ask if i have would. feet and when the answer is yes he would probably just go crazy <laughs> Mm -hmm. Playing on the transparent original Dual Shock that's very sentimental to you and is spelled so down. <laughs> the playing on the playing on the mad the shitty Mad Cats uh, with the auto uh -huh. fire oh, that didn't oh, work uh, that my oh, cousin yeah. always made me use. It's got like the weird gills built into the fucking controller. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> they were always hand. trying to add a fucking spoiler to the goddamn thing. <laughs> They're like, here, it's a Mad Cat's controller. It's fucking great. Check it out. We've got rims. Have you uh, seen these you things? Know? Like, these literally exist controllers that have, like, ventilated grips and fans inside in case you're, like, a too clammy of a person to deal with. Hey, hey guys, I am one of those people. Some I mean, people. Okay, how do you like them? Some people are... I've never gotten one because that's too much money to spend on it. But I <laughs> Sometimes. I, I sweat at the drop one. of a hat, y'all. Sometimes I would really actually be fascinated for a first hand review of one of those. Sometimes gamers be soppy and <laughs> I think that's I think that's incredibly now, valid of them. The, the way I like to play Now uh, hold on, remember I called this guy liquid poop last time and I just oh, like yes. all of you to acknowledge this is a funny <laughs> joke that I made. 
Also, my roommate used to live in Alaska and seemed to like it. So there are a couple of different times where people are like, I fucking hate Alaska or what a hellhole. But my room, to be fair, my... all that oil money. <laughs> to be fair, my roommate Rain is also just generally an incredibly like positive and nice and good person. And so maybe it's just nice. that these people are all really letting negative vibes influence them. Um, also, <laughs> poop is funny. I'm not making the rules. Uh, Joe, just get in the... Joe, Joe. He, he's at work still. Oh, no. Poop is funny. That's true. Um, poop is very funny. I just, I just hate that... Uh, and by hate, I mean love, that Hideo Kojima had this funny man who gets a tummy ache and shits. And then he was like, this guy, <laughs> this guy is my, this guy is, that guy that you just saw, viewers, was Hideo Kojima's Rosencrantz and fucking Guildenstern. Like, <laughs> that guy or some descendant or ancestor of his is in every fucking Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, mm -hmm. And he sh and he shits his pants and looks like an asshole and gets stunted on. <laughs> now, going back to the controller, the, the way I like to play Metal Gear Solid is um, on PlayStation 2. You put the PlayStation disc in the PlayStation 2, and then you pull out the old Steel Battalion controller. Um, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> with the five pedals and the, the eject button. It's very important, because uh, the uh, snake is... Please a rock much. band drum set. <laughs> <laughs> Played on a DDR pad. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, please, it. we have to make this bit last a long time because this is the first really Kojima Kojima cutscene in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, there's History. a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, women in bikinis. Huh? Uh, but, <laughs> no, uh, but it's uh, no. The first one is the one with uh, Kevin Baker because that's the first one where you get real world Star documentary Bruce. B roll. <laughs> Over the narration, because they were like the characters Check are just talking too missiles, much. There's 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 one with when Otacon is talking, where like the one where it shows anime robots is like fine. That goes with Otacon's vibe. But then there's another it's footage from Police Knots, actually. I think. Yes. Yeah. You know. And there's but there's like, another section of the animal. same cutscene where it's just elephants. They're talking about nuclear oh, wars, and like it just plays elephants, and it's hard yeah. not to. And you have to remember the whole time that Otacon's pants are just flooded with piss. Like, he has not changed. Oh. But Hideo was like, I, I think for this session, what we could really use is elephant.wm, uh, WMB. Um, from Encarta. How fucked up? <laughs> God, Encarta. played the, uh, the Thomas Edison propaganda with the elephant over and over again, that gif. He was a bad man. Um, how fucked up would it be if instead of nukes, Metal Gear Solid fired elephants uh, from anywhere on the face of the earth um, at, at intercontinental ballistic missile speeds? I think that that would still be pretty devastating to a city if you had an elephant uh, <laughs> drop it near relativistic speeds from orbit. Look, It'd be really I'm... great if uh, Otacon called you and he's like, Snake, did you know if you'd stack up elephants all the way from the Earth to the moon, they would all die? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, fucking here comes Joe with the canon name for liquid poop. <laughs> John, yeah, Johnny Sasaki is literally insanely plot develop, uh, relevant and so is his indigestion true. Um... I have a question. So it's canon, basically, by Metal Gear Solid 4, that Otacon and uh, Snake are in a relationship together. They're literally raising a daughter. Oh, um, oh yeah. Do you think that Otacon is the kind of person who, in the middle of the night, turns to Snake and says, Snake, which Neon Genesis character would you be? Snake, if I were Shinji, would you still love me? Like, do you think that he's the kind of lover who presents those, like, 2 a.m. hypotheticals? Like, Snake, if I didn't have any feet, would you still want to be my husband? Um, I think, uh, Otacon is actually, uh... I think you're right. Too... No, no. I think <laughs> Otacon <laughs> is... <laughs> way Shot too down. shy and introverted for that and he simply goes while snake is drifting off to sleep hey what you thinking <laughs> uh yeah that's definitely true i but mallory's is also true it's a quantum super state of otacon uh, <laughs> let me let me run two words by y'all though otacon top question mark um, oh no oh yes um, no. i think it's unlikely you know but it is possible 
And if he did it, he would be very powerful. Mm, I... Only if he's bullied into it. I mean, he is like a weird genius project manager. He's probably used to having a lot of free reign. Yeah. Icon could be one of those embarrassing wannabe doms. With the belt on the belt. <laughs> the tum totally the like, tumbler oh, gif where the guy like smacks the yeah, belt with. Like a uh, uh, Adrian Gray or whatever the fuck that dude's name is. I and think, then yeah, I I think they're just tops that are shitty people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> probably a more like. What I imagine most? I mean, bottoms aren't even people, so I'd rather be a shitty person than. Oof. <laughs> That's a push gun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't believe they finally recognized bottom phobia. Um, and of course, for concerned listeners, we are here using top and bottom in their uh, in their meaning as social roles, uh, more than in yeah, their meaning like as. Team. Yeah. It's like people with um, jerseys and without. Yeah. Shirt, shirts and skins. Yeah, it's it, it's much more like shirts and skins and your role within a scene and your role within a relationship than. The shirts just kind of. Then. Roll off. And then you know, next thing you know, there's. You know, we. On top. I mean, we could <laughs> we could, we could be and, talking. Uh, we could. Sometimes though, a uh, uh, bottom can like reverse the role and like start generating a lot of power. Now I want to be I want to be I want to be clear. Let me let me be clear. We could we could be talking about sex, which we have all had. Oh yeah yeah. yeah <laughs> did hold on did did Wait, somebody what? say sex? It doesn't I, really count. I have had it. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't count. My favorite part. Uh, my favorite part of sex is when you turn out the lights, and then a lady never talks about what happens after. Uh, but you all, know, but you all know, wink. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of sex is that my girlfriend lives in Canada, but we're gonna do it. My favorite part of, you. of sex is that my uncle works at Nintendo, <laughs> and also is a writer for the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> he personally knows uh, Cold Stone Steve Austin. <laughs> Cold Stone Steve Austin. Like it, love it, gotta... Uh, gotta have it. Here. Gotta have it. Um, Mallory, uh, where does your uncle work? I'm fucked if I know. I, no, I have... Uh, your I imaginary have... uncle. The uncle you lie about in school. Where does that uncle work? Probably at a dealership. <laughs> <laughs> what That's... kind of dealership? Like it. <laughs> like it, like probably owns more than one and has like sea dews and Pontiacs or something. <laughs> back when I was thinking no! about this, it's probably Pontiacs. It's such a humble uncle that you have. Like, everybody else is yeah. like, my uncle is my uncle is Reggie fils me and your uncle just sells Pontiacs. No, but, well, mine are all lame asses, and I'm an earnest person. So. <laughs> you are an incredibly earnest person, You're and I love. Earnest. That's what I appreciate about you, is Mallory. See, and I'm a Frank person. You know what I appreciate about you, is Mallory? What is it? Hello. I, oh, I'm making a, a Letterkenny reference, sorry. <laughs> it, we, no. I have to watch more of that. It's we so gotta good. watch Letterkenny, it's oh, so, so good. good. God, we're still going, huh? Meryl Silverberg. I uh, love... Uh, just to let everybody know, we are going to be immediately letting her die, because uh, Otacon and Steak is too important a ship for me. Also, yeah. God, I just remembered that. Spoiler alert! Uh, stop listening for the next fifteen seconds. I just remembered that fucking Meryl marries liquid poop. Oh, somebody has oh. to. Oh. Like... <laughs> yeah. God, we're still going. Have you considered that Johnny Sasaki is the stand-in character for Hideo Kojima? I hope that Hideo Kojima gets his medical problem dealt with. I hope his icky tummy, like, gets fixed. <laughs> yeah, he's got- is this, is this that icky thump that the White Stripes warned us about? Listen, don't- don't kink shame, okay? That's just what he's into. Uh, y'all- hey y'all, riff for me for a minute. I'm hungry, and I'm gonna have a spoon of peanut butter. Yeah. I am so resentful towards society for only giving me people like fucking Meryl Silver- Silverberg to aspire to, and all these, like, Sucking bananas and shitty action rules. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, me and Mara were watching, uh, the Rambo movies here recently because we had never watched anything but First Blood. The, this stream is dedicated to the brave Mujahideen <laughs> fighters of Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, literally in the third one, they introduced a, a, a female, like, romantic interest, and I joked. I said, she's going to be dead in the next five minutes. Yep. And literally, her and Rambo 
uh, cement their relationship with a tender kiss, and then she is instantly gunned down by like 36 fucking people. That movie's incredible, though. I, I saw that. Um, I saw a double feature with that. Incredible movie. for me to poop on. Um, no, it's incredible. We, I saw it with Commando at the Castro in San Francisco, and I was. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you yeah. my favorite part of the movie Commando? Mm-hmm. It's when Arnold Schwarzenegger. My mouth is full of peanut butter. It's so dry. It's when Arnold Schwarzenegger erupts from a shed and cuts off the man's arm with a machete, and there's just like, <laughs> but it's just like a regular shed, and he just goes Wah! and jumps up it and just lops off a man's arm, and the guy, mm-hmm. if I remember right, is just kind of nonplussed for a moment, and then he just goes like Wah! like a cartoon. Uh, I loved that moment. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you were at the I Castro. Go hard. Go stick around and like impale someone. Mm-hmm. Um, I laughed so hard during Rambo that it was actually embarrassing because I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing and nobody else was laughing and I had to like, like I had to like when I left I was like looking around like I'm sorry I it was Rambo I can't help it. So, oh, it's um, it's awful. One of my favorite podcasts. Um, we hit movies. They did mm-hmm. on their special Patreon a commentary for Commando. One of the hosts had never it's seen it so before good. in his life, so they oh, recorded Steve him Sadak, like, I think. Yeah, yeah. They recorded him just like as he was watching it, and just like it was incredible to hear him marveling at it and just like completely gobsmacked. It was completely fresh. It was Uh-oh. all yeah, real. Like, this like, is happening. This is happening. <laughs> yeah, I've <laughs> only heard the movie described to me. I have never seen it. Oh, Oops. we will we'll change that. Um, You've only ever seen what movie special, described to you? It's a special oh, man, experience to have that with It's good. So to be Were you just laying down time. on the ground? No. Oh. Oof. Mm. I do think it's uh, very good of the genome soldiers to simply run into the room over and over. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the... Just round that corner, you know? Yeah, they don't even clear it. They're just like... Oh, rah, 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 rah. Those, are the, those are the genes of Big Boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and much like, you know, the, the genes of Homer Simpson just running smack dab into each other over and over Fucking again. Fucking Kojima! God I shouldn't... I shouldn't yell. What this am is I important re- plot information. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanks, like, I don't recognize anyone with that ass. He yeah. actually is dropping that for a setup uh, for a payoff later. Uh, yeah. It does pay off later. It's still bad, though. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like the thing in Metal Gear Solid 5 where it's like, well, actually, Quiet has to be nude all the time because some some villain. She breathes through her skin. And, she breathes uh, through her skin, she's even also though. 300 she years old. It's witch. crazy. It's even... such a bummer that I just found her in the fucking wild and had to design her like <laughs> yeah. this this way to convey it faithfully. What's, mo- what's, what's fucked up is that even with that excuse, which is paper thin when creators do it, even with that excuse, uh, she has the same thing that the end from Metal Gear Solid 3 has. And if you remember, he's an old man with a big bushy beard who wears a fucking ghillie suit all the time. It yeah, makes me like feel like a train out. car decoupled from reality when people start to make excuses for the awful things conceived inside of racist fantasy universes as though the author didn't just invent them whole cloth anyway and didn't have to make them that way. It yeah. blows my mind. See, and yeah. this is why I love the purity of the 4,000-year-old uh, dragons trapped in child bodies. <laughs> oh, hey, fine. Hey, f- hey, Fire Emblem. <laughs> We're putting you on blast on the TL. Hey, Fire Emblem, Ma- Marl, or Ray, Ray, is it Ray? Anyway, Mark. those people were... You mean Mark? You mean Mark? Marsh? You mean Mark? Marsh? Mark yeah, and Mark. There is a character and, uh, named Roy, which is pretty hard to... Uh, Ray, or whatever? Metal Gear the Ray, yes. Miss Ko- Kobayashi's Dragon Maid is a big black thorn sticking into the back of my head, coming in from off screen all the time. <laughs> I just playing and playing and playing. I like so to find a, I liked that show. Yeah, I liked that show. Uh, I'm sp- I'm definitely supposed to have the uh thermal goggles. I'm going to go back up and get them. Yeah, you uh, get them now, I think. You have the like, you have the level what? 1 key card now? Mm, I don't need them actually. There's not really anything I need them for. 
There is just that one trap door. Which, if you... Which is always hilarious if you fall for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm very smart and cool. Um, yeah, I... Oh, the... The Steam controller, the more I use it and then use other controllers, the more I'm like, this thing was actually good. Uh, and it is good. It, it's like, it's a good stick. Uh, this stick is, the PS4 stick is dog shit in comparison. It's just not good for games designed on the D-pad. That's the problem. Right, 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 right. Um, well, this this was designed with like rumble functionality, you know? Um, yeah, but analog have... had not come into yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think analog was a big thing at Wait, this point. Is this rumbling? Um, oh, no, it's not rumbling. Um, I should figure that out before I get to Psycho Mantis. And I should also put some fun information on my memory card. Um, you got a while. I do. Well, I, we're very close uh, in the main save. I've got the ninja fight. Uh, Really showcase for analog, Joe says. Wow, okay. Say what? It was. Joe says this really showcase for analog, so I guess oh, they. Okay. Uh, and it sucks. I know they, like, had, I mean, they had Resident Evil Directors cut at this point, I think, so. Tactical espionage action. Um. Yeah, this came out like three months after Ape Escape, and that was the, basically the big promotional vehicle for the DualShock in the first place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it That's must have been if it had so many yeah, first-party resources I think, and Sony behind it. I, think... I remember whenever Pizza Hut just was handing out all of the DualShocks. I... Wait, what? Yeah. I had to fucking buy one like a sucker, and then my friend broke it in the backpack <laughs> trying to squeeze through a fence. Please, please, please. <laughs> Sorry. I think you're fine. Oh no 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 no! You're good. I was talking about the chaff grenade. Just talking about the chaff. You're fine. You're um, more than fine. you're doing great. You're doing great, honey. Uh, I am really excited to get to Metal Gear Solid Three because I have the subsistence edition, and I got it at McKay's Used Books and CDs. And no, I got it at a yeah, I got it in McKay's Used Books and CDs in Chattanooga, and it's the subsistence edition, and it has both discs scratch free. And the instruction booklet, and it was five fucking dollars. Are you oh, kidding yeah. me? Um, but it has wow. the it has the Ape Escape mini game uh, on it, Ooh. and I'm really excited to do that to take uh, Naked Snake through the Russian jungle that definitely exists and uh, find a bunch of apes. Bert, call out. <laughs> this is my favorite character. In this whole series. Ooh, uh, revolver. revolver? Yeah. The DARPA priest, also, the DARPA chief. so this, this, the, the, the voice acting in this game is uniformly good, but our boy, our boy, our boy, our boy has the best voice acting. Yeah, our boy Patrick Lane showed up to work. Like, yeah. I think everybody else. Uh, excluding maybe David Hayter was like, oh, it's a video game. I'm showing up to act for a video game, so it's like, whatever. But Patrick was like, N -n 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 -n. Patrick did not hear about doing things halfway, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know how, how they all hedged their bets, too, with, like, a lot of the big-name voice actors? Uh, like, when they put the demo out, they faked all their names in the credits? Whoa! Uh, in, in the opening? That's crazy! Yeah, like, I, I feel like Revolver Ocelot specifically had, like, a really funny name for their fake actor. <laughs> Joe, what you're typing is very funny, and you're incredibly valid. I have to look this up. So, uh, for those of you who are thinking of picking up this game, this is something they will never teach you. But, if you hold down X and Square at the same time, uh, you can run with your gun out and... Ooh, this fiddly thumbstick ain't helping. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I gotta get the D-pad working. Um. Yeah, apparently everyone but David Hayter used a fake name. Like Cam Clark was uh, was James Flinders. <laughs> God. I believe in you. <laughs> Yeah, I believe in me too. Snake's just weaving all over the place. Um, and the thing about 
So the thing is that the aiming is super fiddly in this game in the I first forget, place. Can you use C4 in here, or is that strictly forbidden because of the... Strictly forbidden, I think. Let's try. Because this is getting annoying. Oh. This is getting annoying with the... The battle, honestly, even with the D-pad working, the battle is pretty uh, silly. Yeah. So I guess the reason that they went under aliases yeah. also was it was part of the Screen Actors Guild shit where they weren't allowed to go under their official names. Oh, well, uh, there goes that plan. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, Joe. you gotta find out one way or the other. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna do it right this time. This... So grenades, then. No! <laughs> <laughs> great job. Yeah, great job, Bert. Uh-huh. I know, I know what's up. <laughs> I I know what what pulls in the views. It's when Just blowing up Baker. <laughs> uh, stun grenades might work. Those I don't work. have those. Hey, do. I don't. Song. Oh, I do. I'm not gonna do that. That seems like a really good way to fuck myself. Stop shooting me. Speaking of. Um, Speaking of fucking myself, there, someone came out with a uh, price per value point discussing uh, vibrators. Um, it's a family uh, show. <clears throat> massaging, self-massaging instruments. Yes. And apparently, there is this particular model that is, you know, quite Just expensive. But um, as they say, a good bang for your buck. Is it a real timeless favorite? It goes Dang. back. The, uh, this, uh, the personal know. massager that your game game would use. Oh, yeah. The dual shock too. <laughs> I mean, you just, but you just, but I remember an article. I remember an article about a cylindrical controller for Res. Um, yeah, the fucking trans vibrator. The trans vibrator that you could play with Res. Uh, that I think, bless their hearts, the creators did not assume would be used in the way that people immediately started using it. <laughs> that always sounded cool. <laughs> yeah. Just passing one off to a rumble pack. And you could... To, yes, a, yes, a, yes! Being massaged yes. to a specifically designed rumble pack experience? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Stop shooting me! Um, come on, big shooter. You are nothing but spare parts. There we go. Off. Here we go. Um, you're pretty good. Yeah, there's multiple times where, like, us lots, like, because the character models are good for the style, but they're not, like, super realistic. There's yeah. times when. Which is why the voice they. Actor comes on, and you're just like, jeez, it's like a, it takes it to another level. Yeah, um, and I th and I think the fact that they're not going for realistic is what makes the graphics hold up as much as they do. Psycho Mantis cut off Ocelot's hand. That's not Psycho Mantis. Oh. I thought you played this. It is a cybernetic ninja. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, yeah. So the I mean, people as far as the story would tell you at the moment this is the cyborg ninja. Yeah, the people the people at home are gonna get all the lore, uh, which is great for them, but oh this is another very long cut scene. How long has this been going? Um, it's not quite Metal Gear Solid two level, but it's pretty long. Yeah, this is one of this this in the Otacon cutscene or Two of the longer Whenever ones. Play two, um, again, that's just like how much time you got. Um, we've, yes. we've been recording the. This session's been going for one hour and thirteen minutes. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad because especially like twenty minutes of that was us fiddling with audio. Um, I'm really excited for. I'm really excited for Joe to get here. Add a little bit more co color commentary. 
I, I made the mistake of clicking away from my PSX <laughs> like a jackass. And now it's... I'm not going to belabor the point, but there was a thing we were talking about earlier about how this is one of the only video game franchises that I can, that, like, on record, I can be like, man, it is important that this is a video game. Yeah. Uh, me and Burton and Joe have been flipping out about Nier and Nier Automata for a while. Yeah? It does that, too. Hell yeah. Yeah, um, it's a video game. And it seems like uh, the main character of Nier has almost as good a butt as Snake. Almost. Automata. Yeah, the main character Almost. of Nier. I mean, like, it's okay. harder to appreciate, but probably get better one. Uh, also, Joe, you shut up. Nothing is as good as Metal Gear Solid. I'm completely unbiased and rational. Uh, this is also the first game I ever played that meant anything to me. Uh, but I'm still being completely unbiased and completely rational. <laughs> Bert, what you got there? Uh... I feel like buffalo chicken fries. Ooh. I don't know how to eat this. How do we get a fork? It's like a sh <laughs> I should use a fork, but that's what. Coming from a region in the history Thanks, of chili Dad. fries, get a fork. Don't fuck around. It's really chili, but yeah, we'll do it. It's a family stream. Don't fuck <sighs> around. <laughs> I, I wish I had some snacky wackies. I might have some ice cream. Spaghetti. There's like. No, there's like roommate. There's like roommate ice cream. What do I want to eat? Or am I just bored? Am I hungry because I'm bored, or am I bored because I'm hungry? Uh, you know, if you're bored in this instance, I mean, that just says bad things about the company that you're keeping, and frankly, I'm offended. Nah. This might be just me, but there's a certain period after I take my medicine where I get. Like unbelievably screamingly hungry. Mm, that's know. true. Women do be take, eating. Women do be eating. I don't know. Like I wake up and take mine, but also like I don't know. Ever since I started doing that, it's like I always wake up hungry, but now it's like almost nauseatingly so, and has been yeah. almost the whole time. I think I think I'm gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ooh, hell yeah! Yeah, after this, and. Maybe some Diet Pepsi with ice. You mean after you beat the game? After I beat the game. Oh. Uh, you probably could beat this stupid fucking game in like two hours if you skipped all the cutscenes. If cut you scenes. skipped all the codex, yeah, it wouldn't be that I long. feel like this is easily a dedicated evening's playthrough. Like, this is one of the games that was most emblematic of a time in my life when I was hanging out with like two or three friends very consistently and we just rent something from Blockbuster and like... Mm annihilate that video game in a controller pass when you die or on chapter break sort of yep games. yep 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 and this was like the this and like resident evil and silent hill and if you really fuck around with the weird shit games like galarians <laughs> like, i have i have such an intense memory of doing that with resident evil 2 with my yeah. friends Ty, at the time tyler and daniel who daniel's pretty cool uh but whatever, whatever, whatever. With my friends at the time, Tyler and Daniel, and um, Daniel was playing, and he was checking out the interrogation rooms in Resident Evil 2, and I looked up from, like, I think I was, like, half reading a book, and I looked up and I said, that looks like the game is telling you that something's about to jump through that mirror. And he was like, no, no way, nothing's gonna jump through that mirror, it's too obvious. Um, and right as he turned his face back to the screen, a liquor jumped through <laughs> the mirror, and he f he freaked out so bad that he like convulsed on the floor and accidentally <laughs> threw the controller at my head. Um, yeah. And so now like I've watched people play Resident Evil 2 remake, and I just still have such a, like a weird intense nostalgia reaction to that interrogation room. We got stock footage. Yeah. This oh, yeah. is also, I was going to say, that like when it dips into this weird sort of like lore conveyance mode, it just reminds me exactly of like the weird stuff you would see on the History Channel or like TLC around oh, this time yeah. talking about like, you know, airlines at the dawn of autopilot. They're like, this is TWA Flight 730. <laughs> just, you know, like, you're no, talking about the, so the introduction of the SA-32 revolutionized modern warfare. Just this, this sort of stuff was so readily accessible. 
Yeah, they were putting mm -hmm. some weird stuff on like National Geographic late at night and everything. Like, a, not even late at night, but just sort of like military fetishization content was so available from basically like the 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. time slot if you knew where to look for it. And at the time when I was a kid, you know, cool missiles were badass and awesome. And like, I watched a lot of it because I it wanted to be a find. fighter pilot so bad. Look, like. Bah! You're, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, me too. what just happened? Me what too. is going on? <laughs> you pulled the US key, USB cable out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um. Oh, geez, this is still going. They really no, do. I wanted to be a fighter pilot, but I realized I would never. Like, by the time I was actually Air Force contemplation age, I realized I didn't want to be a part of the machine that bad, but I really still like airplanes to the core. And wanted to work around them as like a way of beating into my head like hey you're in reality now and you have to work hard yeah so figure out how to be a boy please yeah you gotta do it um <laughs> these, ble these bleeding hard liberals on the military oversight committee keep making keep making our mechanics be girls i have to admit working on the planes was amazing it Fuck seems fun. Other shit, though. And it would have been better if you were a girl at the time. It would have yeah. been much better. Oh, Joe, I just saw your this is as bad as a game can look and still look quote-unquote pretty good. I do see yeah. what you did there. Um, but yeah, pl I was talking to some roommates earlier that it, like if I could give up... be If I could find a job that let me like solve puzzles all day or... Uh, pick up a heavy thing and move it to a secondary location and just do that over and over again while listening to music. Uh, evil play tester. Yeah. Ooh. Delivery driver. Yeah, yeah. And if and if I got twenty, if I got twenty dollars an hour, and health and dental, to do that. Um, I, I fucking do. I think that, yeah. I think that writing would remain a hobby. You know. Mm -hmm. Like. Honestly, I know that that's not really a reality for you, but it's like I get my fucking I, I get my HRT through work, and I work as a delivery driver. Um, are they hiring? I, yes, if you have a car and come to Madison, Wisconsin. Neither of those are true. So nope, sorry. Dang it. Double, but, like, du double also, damn one it. of the craziest things, and I just want to comment on it really quick, of being a delivery driver and showing up on random strangers' porches 20 to 30 times a day for the entire length of your transition is you really, 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 really had a crystal clear picture of when you started passing. Uh-huh. That was, uh, the call center I worked at was the same but for my voice, which I feel like I don't do the voice much anymore, but there was a period where, yeah, like, the three months that I was working at a call center when I first started transitioning was like constant feedback on <laughs> how people were gendering my voice. Oh yeah, and like I have a voice that I don't use around here much, but it's also like, you know, it's a chance for me to, I think every single customer is someone that with the incredibly rare exception that I absolutely don't give a shit about, so why not try it out like those Did 20 I... or 30 times a day? Right. Did I ever tell you my story about the misogynist who called in? No, but I'd love to hear it, but also I really have to use the bathroom. Go so... use the bathroom. This story can wait. Oh, I'll, I'll call your codec in a sec. Okay. Don't lie to me. Uh -oh. Also, uh, so Joe, and everybody who's played multiple Metal Gear Solid games, I think it's a real crime that they went to using, like, in-engine models for the codec conversations. I think the limited animation for the art for the codec conversations is the peak of the codec aesthetic. I really love the artist for these games. Mm -hmm. um, I forget who it is because I'm degenerate, but um, they were really... Um, I remember drawing some concept of a snake when I was a kid and like... Um, and then by two it was like nope. You can move the faces around. Yeah, you can make Snake look at a lady's boobies, and he makes a funny sound. You can kill too many seagulls. You can kill too many seagulls, and uh, Raiden's girlfriend will yell at you. 
Um, I have a que- I have a question, and I am going to pivot to that anecdote because it's a moment of my life that I'm pretty proud of when Mallory gets back. Uh, but for those who are in the chat who have played Metal Gear Solid 2, how do you feel about uh, Raiden? Mm. Mm. I think Raiden's a little bitch, and he was very bad. Just like uh, Shinji. Shinji was a little bitch. I was only watching Stop. the for, for the for the robot fights, the three of the robot fights that said. happened. <laughs> I agree with all of that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, can I go in there? No. Can I go in there? No. Great. Find this. Um. Bitch. Do yeah. you see this sword next to my name? <laughs> that means power. That means I can fuck you. <laughs> so really quick. That means nobody fucks with me except for possibly Bert and I guess I, I guess Anthony is also. So don't Hi, So don't follow Anthony's lead. Anthony is Anthony's Anthony's feeling himself and he's getting crazy. <laughs> but we we want to keep this a, we want to keep this a PG thirteen strand. He had spaghetti. Yeah. He had some sp- he had some spaghetti. I had some spaghetti. I actually had chicken, chicken and gnocchi, so... Somebody touch you his spaghetti. Somebody... Spaghetti! <gasps> oh, shit! Yeah, I was supposed to get the thermal goggles. Uh... <gasps> well! <laughs> yeah. Well, I... They move. Whoop. Yeah, you... Yeah. You? Okay. I Just go for it. We don't have time for that. Wow! Hey, bud. Shut up. Oh, you have them. No, I don't. You, I just looked at them in your inventory. God dang it! <laughs> yep. Read Let me. Right. right there. Oh well. <laughs> so I was, I was. Um, so there's this, there's this uh, uh, popular content creator who also does not see things. Shut that up. They have in their inventory. <laughs> Shut up. So. Uh... Uh, so basic only people who are too cowardly to physically hurt themselves watch how them. do I use the rations how do I use them so base no also, hello. <laughs> so listen I'm playing on autopilot right now because I already did all of this this game is a bodily function no this oh, no. game is a bodily function Love it. that's it <sighs> Jesus. Hey, this, because you're dead now so it's, it's story time so I'm working at a call center I was a customer retention agent uh, for DirecTV, which is to say... Uh, creepy something job. I know. When people... Co- so here's a little little secret uh, for those of you at home. Uh, if you want the cost of a thing that you are subscribed to to be reduced, uh, call and please be nice to the first person you talk to because they have basically zero power. Um, and they're also a subcontractor that's been hired by a different company. But call and talk to that person for a minute. Let them try to sell you a couple of things uh, and, le- and let them try to fix your problem that you are probably just making up. Um, but then once you've given them enough time to like meet their metrics and not get in trouble, um, tell them, and you have to say exactly this, um, Actually, I'm thinking about canceling my service, so if you could just put me through to whoever can make that happen, uh, that would be great. Uh, And they will put you through to their company's customer retention group. Bless you. Which, that is... uh, No, if I set off the C4, it's going to piss off everybody. Bless you again. Um, Which, that's what I was, and the customer retention group has... uh, These are the, the mystical supervisors that you're always hearing about that have all these crazy powers. Um, they're the, they're the mods. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is all to let you know, uh, I'd, I'd been, I'd been girling it up, uh, for a cup for like two months and I picked up the phone and I said, thank you for calling direct TV. My name is Meredith. How can I enhance your experience today? Um, and as I was finishing my spiel, this dude just goes, no, no, no. I've already talked to too many women. I'm not talking to another woman. Every woman I've talked to hasn't <laughs> fixed my problem yet. Hasn't fixed my problem. I'm over it. Uh, just put me through to a man. And I said, 
okay, sir, no problem. And I was just thinking on my feet. I said, okay, sir, no problem. Um, and uh, put him on hold. And played, uh -huh. and played one of those physics-based... Oh, wow, it looks like that tank's gone. Played one of those physics-based games uh, that you can Weird. play in, like, browsers, and it just happened... Where, you, yeah, where you're on, like, a... Where you killed Osama Bin Laden. Or no, 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 the, no, like no. Penguin Damn it. Or I was... Like see, that. Anthony, stop, stop awesome. distracting me by misbehaving. I got caught. Um, but... Uh, I was playing... It was like a motocross game. It was like a motocross game, uh, and I just goofed off and like played that in solitaire for like five minutes. And then I uh, picked the phone back up and said, uh, yeah, this is Meredith's supervisor, and I gave him my dead name. I said, this is Meredith's super supervisor dead name. Um, I hear you're having some problems. What can I help you with? And he's like, finally, a man, um, and walked me through his whole problem. And, of mm -hmm. course, I fixed it. Uh, easily because I was good at my job and uh, at the end of the call he was like I just want to let you know if you could just please tell that little lady I was talking to that I said sorry uh, I know I was acting a little out of line but I just I'm real glad that I got a man on here to fix my problem and I was oh, like no. I was like yeah I will tell her that you said that um, um, and if I remember well, um, there's nothing hey, hey, hey Meredith yeah. Yes, you're telling her that now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if I remember right, there's nothing that important over there, and there is a guard up here and a noisy floor, so I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, Joe's probably sitting on his dang. Stop it! What? Oh. Oh. No. 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 You don't love to see it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need anything up there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I no. think, yeah. You 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 have the suppressor. You have the goggles and the suppressor. Think, yeah. Just yeah. game harder. I'm just I'm, that's how you game harder. I'm that's just, it. Crawl under the tank and hide from your problems until they go away in 20 seconds. That's exactly how it works in real life. Yeah. Um. I'm having a bad time. Part of it is the analog stick. Part of it's oh, my my, uh -oh. contro my controller's busted. Um. And part of it is I'm very sleepy. Uh. Why am I bringing up the elevator? You know, I think I think there's another content creator who uh, is controllers. Are always, but <laughs> could one of you uh, <laughs> could one of you perverts do me a favor and look up uh, Meryl's uh, and look up Meryl's? Well, it's on the back of the game case that we have right can. now. Sweet which, which you legally bought. Well, I have the game case. One second. One forty one dot fifteen, but that's my guess. I can't remember off the top. Oh, it's one forty dot fifteen. I I did it from memory. Uh, fake fans. Sure, you definitely no. didn't cheat. <laughs> definitely didn't cheat. Um, I'm just gonna pull up Twitter. Uh, oh God, no, I can't. Don't ever. do it. I understand. Twitter told you what the frequency is. Can't now. I'm trying to sell off all these fucking magic cards, and I'm gonna have so I, I'm gonna fill this box easily and still have like a ton more to sell off. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. See, I love that Twitter's having the blue check crisis right now. It's already over, I think. They, just, they just can't post. They just can't post. <laughs> yeah, but what else is new? <laughs> hey, hey. It's definitely over now. Yeah. Ice T's posting. <laughs> That's really it. The entire Twitter is just an ice tea support ecosystem pretty much <laughs> it could be worse things frankly i don't know if ice tea figured out his, his trend takes though i don't know if he's figured that out i, don't, know. Thing about I don't, don't think that, like that that has everyone, happened bert i don't think it's happening everyone keeps forgetting yeah. that ice tea is actually heal and they're like oh check out this cool face over here and it's like no ice tea is the real bad person it's what did he do he posts good, but unfortunately, yeah, he's, it's he's a, a thing I drive by in the car and my head snaps over because I'm like, what the f are we talking about ice? There? Also, are we talking about ice tea or ice cube? Uh, one of ice them is tea. one of them is a hotap. Final, mm, I'm not gonna advertise it. <laughs> very much a racist. Mm -hmm. A racist against who? Yeah, didn't ice cube have some? Yeah, just recently. Ice cube is a, a which which one is the one who did fuck the police? 
That's Ice Cube. Yeah. Okay. Ice Cube is a hotep. So he's like a he's like a weird conspiracy yes. theorist, anti anti yes. semi misogynist, yes. and that and yes. that's right. fine. Uh, and Ice Cube has <laughs> so, has, has so bad far. Trans. Oh well, I have bad trans oh. takes. It's fine. They're just like Homer, like some of y'all are sus type nonsense or whatever. Yeah. You know, Ice Tea. Uh, How does this work, Joe? Uh, I showed up, did a bunch of stuff. Oh, also say it, say stuff, really quick. My fucking job. And Joe, say hi to posterity because you're being recorded, and this is going to be part of my mm -hmm. eventual, uh, complete long play of the Metal Gear Solid series. So introduce yourself to the people at home. Hello, posterity. My name is Willie Tom. I am the uh, uh, fantastic posting and Twitch persona, which of whom you are very well acquainted. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really glad that uh, Twitch t Twitch TV does not have smellovision right now because golly gee whiz, I could uh, uh, I definitely room. I definitely did about uh, ten hours of hard labor in uh, 100 degree Texas summer. Anyway, that's my that's my life. How's your How's your COVID feeling? The COVID that you have. Um, chronically wow. fatigued and slightly confused constantly yeah <laughs> yeah that sounds about right what's your favorite smell shut up <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good Ouch. I don't know if it smells bad in your room. Maybe you don't have COVID. You ever think? Hey, the good news. The good news is that like the, the trash room is okay. I can just fall on that grenade for everybody. So Wait, that's what? that's a thing, I guess. What uh, a trash room? You have a room dedicated to trash? It's an entire hotel, dude. That's just my bedroom. It's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I call my recycle bin. Whoop. So what are you Mer and Meryl Silverberg talking about here? Um, we're talking about you. we're talking about saving Hal and Merrick. I don't re remember. Having level five cards going with you, not being away. Oh, uh, we're talking about that women have more I have, places I have to more hide. I have than you, and I'm better than you. I'm going with you. No. We're talking I'm about. Glow. We're talking I'm about so like, women have help. more places to hide key cards than men, which is like Hideo, please. Yeah, I do always remember this exchange where she says, "I'm not green," and he goes, "Oh yes, you are." And then there's just a pause. <laughs> and also, they are both literally green right now. Exactly. I always wondered, uh, the little codec things, are these like holograms that it transmits into Snake's vision? Or... No, purely, purely non-diegetic, phantasmatic pictures for the gamer's benefit. This is purely yeah. a radio call. Okay. Also, does it remain purely a radio call throughout the series, though? Like, yes. like in Metal Gear Solid 2, is it still, when they're like explicitly nano-machined to the gills, is it still just audio transmission? It is. That doesn't, and it does not mean that people cannot be looking directly at each other and, like emoting at each other but they're still on the codec they're on still the, having an audio on the count of three but silent on the count of three everyone say nano machines son one two three nano machines nano son, son. <laughs> we're that's what latency is that's what the, this is mafia that is latency that's it we just we just desync we synced and desynced the stream are, like, definitively. Yeah, it's like it's like, hey folks, is it the fifth episode of Neon Genesis in here? Because it feels like it. Was that the fifth episode where they did the synchronized dance? The dancing thing. I think mm -hmm. it was later on than that. Oh yeah, because it was after Asuka showed up, so yeah, it would have been. For sure, later than that. Really got that was the first time that she showed up, right? Because it was like they were getting, or, or was it? They're like it was the it really was the badly. second episode that she was in. Because so there was yeah. the episode with the battleship, uh, and then there was the episode right after that they do the synchronization. Um, and yeah, Anthony, you should watch it again. You should uh, definitely, yeah, you should definitely watch the Netflix watch dub. Shoot, god damn it! I don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love being correct all the time. I've heard uh, that, like, people put in good work, but, hmm. Like, look at all that movement. No, it, Maybe it, not it all was, of the people? 
No, it was completely. Uh, it tried to erase anything and everything. Gay. Uh, it tried to erase all the gay stuff. Yeah, it was completely homophobic and horrible. But even but Evangelion without the gay stuff is like a peanut butter sandwich. It's missing something, but you don't know quite what. Yeah, well, the the translator uh, the translator it turns out is like a very active nationalist. So. Golly, uh, imagine! Uh, yeah, huh, gee, weird. What a why, strange coincidence. Oh, why well, would resuming a patrol. nationalist want to erase queer people? That's what? That's so crazy. No. Yeah, okay, you're gonna open it now. I get it. Um, are, are you just telling me that 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 a hardcore nationalist would take undue interest and also attain employment on translating a Hideki Anno property? No way. No. No way. What? No. Do y'all think That's so weird? I, do y'all so think Ano is fash, or do you think he's just like oh, yes. a deeply strange no, man? Yes. Problematic fave. Problematic no, fave. Man. No, he's a very dumb man. He's dumb. I play dumb man. Mm. He made. Not, I me, like no. He. This is. I mean, this is the man who made Shin Godzilla. Yeah. David David Hater yelling good girl pierced through all the din to hit like the various very important centers in my oh, brain. Yeah. No, here's the thing. Can dumb people absolutely uh push a nationalist and you know fascist agenda? Absolutely. If you questioned him and like actually showed him what he was doing, I think he'd go, "Oh, that sucks." He's a I very mean, dumb yeah. man. I mean, every uh, uh, most people have really incoherent politics when you get down to it. it. It's only the people who have refined politics who are the weird ones. I believe that like, my politics are that everyone who is now or has ever been an American police officer should be dumped into a replica of the Grand Canyon because there are a lot of people who really like the Grand Canyon the way it is and don't want it to be full of cops. Mm -hmm. And then we just got a wall. See, and then we just have to that, wallpaper over it. Is way more consideration to the issue than most ever will. Yeah. Most ever will. Like, like yeah. you gotta, you gotta really bring it back a few. Like. <sighs> You gotta bring it back to, wow, I'm just glad we live in a society where we can have this kind of conversation. Like, mm -hmm. that's the level most people are on. Yeah. Hey. Eh, deep Throat. Be hey, it's your boy, Deep Throat. Hey, <laughs> give you the cryptic warnings. My hey, I, I had no idea what, uh, what, what Deep Throat was or anything. Yeah, you were in, we were in the 11, same boat. I'm 11 years old here. Uh, it's Deep Throat. Oh, that's a that's a weird name. Oh, I did not I did not know from the Watergate. Yes, and where did the the informant from the Watergate scandal get the name Deep Throat from? Uh, Which is, by the way, I made sidebar. We really a glossed over part of American history. That well, we know who he is the now. The informant from the Watergate scandal was just like, yeah, I'm gonna name myself after a, after. Okay. Yeah, but 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 Kurt, but Kurt Eichenwald admits to showing his karate son's hentai, and everybody loses their mind. <laughs> Damn it! I love that they have a family movie night. <laughs> um, so I have a question because it's about to become relevant. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody who's played both. How do you feel about this versus the Twin Snakes? Because this this Twin was... Snakes is fucking hot garbage, and uh, let's block out the next ninety minutes as I put Twin Snakes. On <laughs> because this was the cutscene. This that. was the cutscene where I knew that I was that Twin Snakes was not for me. Um, was Twins, like Twin Snakes is hot garbage. Twin, Twin Snakes. First of all, the fact that there's a first person in this game with the maps as designed. Are, is is not designed for first person view as it is conceived in Metal Gear Solid Two. It just isn't. the The ocelot fight is completely different. This fight is well, actually, this fight is more or less unchanged. But like, it's it's just wrong. It's just 
Wrong. Well, and in the cutscenes, in the cutscenes also, like, the in this one, Snake dodges. In this one, Snake dodges. But in the Twin Snakes yeah. cutscene, he, like, jumps onto the tank shell and rides it for a minute and pirouettes yeah. off and flips off Vulcan Raven. Like he does, he, he, he also does a kickflip off the, uh, uh, incoming missile from the helicopter. Oh, yeah. So is a thing. Right there. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't, just stop. I do think it's just cool stop. that, I do think um, it's cool that Rules of Nature plays when, um, you're like a cyborg doing, uh, I look, I, cartwheels I look at, I look at this board. and I see, yes, yes, correct, good, good, <laughs> and correct. I see every single, nope, nope, utterly unnecessary, and now you're just playing yourself, um, God, this game taught me how to play video games. I made every I single. I played video games here. wrong. I made, like, damn it. All right, so here's my I thing. Think... I think I think I already told Mallory this in some fashion or other. But hello. When damn they it. when they get like all winky and like press the action button to climb the ladder, like, oh no. This was so early at, in <laughs> my gaming history like this was one of my first video games i actually really appreciated somebody telling me to press the action button to to climb the ladder because i wouldn't have known that otherwise yeah. Like, yeah like the diegetic tutorials are good they're so good they're like the acknowledgement that this is a video game is, is like can you do it and, can and you do it can you in. do it chain it uh oh uh oh second boy Oh, Ooh, she might have done! Oh, she did! It's oh, oh, she did it. oh, gamer oh status confirmed. <laughs> Poggers. Can we get a, uh, can we get a Pog champion? <laughs> <laughs> that little plastic tingling of a ball going in. Who wants to come play Pogs with me? <laughs> Why, who is that one person? Uh... So Vulcan Ra Vulcan that's, that's, that's what Vulcan Raven what is face. Vulcan a close, Raven is a close relative of Dan's game. <laughs> Vulcan Raven is racist, right? Uh, oh, yeah. slightly. I, slightly. Streamer, yes, I feel like I feel like Mei I feel like Mei Ling's accent in this localization is an edge case. Um, oh, it's it's it, it could be yeah. worse. I can think of three different ways Honestly, it could be worse. Okay, all right. But Vulcan Maybe Raven Vulcan Raven is a problem. Maybe we're crossing the streams. I will say Mei Ling's accent, imperfect. On balance, Mei Ling is much, much better in MGS1 than Mei Ling in MGS4. Oh, yeah. I don't. I and... only played MGS4 once when I was 19. Okay. All right. Pause. I, I'm it, will, it will skip it. I am. I have done all of the things to be an admiral in the United States Navy as a Chinese, as a by birth Chinese national woman. And I oh, am now an so... admiral in the United States Navy. Oops, I dropped my, my baton that I'm using on my project, on my presentation. I'm gonna like root around for it under that and present my ass like a baboon to the entire audience for like 60 seconds. Oh, Kojima. Like, it's really, oh, like, really, really, really drawn out. Like, I don't get it. Like, fuck angles. the accent. Fuck the accent. Like, MGS4 is just Hideo Kojima begging to get fired, and they don't do it. I'm so, I'm so excited MGS5 that I started doing this after people figured out how to emulate it. gets him fired. Not, that's not only what gets him fired, that's what gets, like, a non-trivial percentage of his development staff sent to janitorial duty. Like, this is, you have, folks, if you're watching this in posterity, this gets fucking weird. This is a weird video game series, to be fair, but it does not have a patch on the meta conversation of how these games got ultimately produced, and in the case of Metal Gear Solid V, not actually produced at all. Um, do you ever stop to think about uh, how? Do you have you ever looked up the footage from the Metal Gear Solid Three Pachinko Machine and thought about like a remastered PS4 Metal Gear Solid Three 
and gotten Only like on the days that end in Y. <laughs> gotten really sad. Uh, so after I get to Metal Gear Solid Three, which my opinion is that two and three, for different reasons, are tied for the best games in the series. Um, yes, agreed. I think I, that th I see I see where you're going with that, and yes, 100%. I think three is the better game. I think that two is better art, if that makes sense. But after we get to three, I I, I will say the years have been extraordinarily kind <laughs> to MGS two. Yeah, Extra is, it has it yeah, has aged uh, like Dom Perignon. Uh, this is actually my favorite one. It's very weird. Uh, it's good. They're it, all good. the The first three. It's, it, at 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 the, at the risk of ripping off the the late great Drew Scanlon, uh, MGS two is one of those things where at the end of it you just throw down the controller and howl to the heavens. Is Hideo Kojima Nostradamus? <laughs> like, like is it, it or is he Nostradamus or does he merely wield the lathe of heaven to to fell purposes? Because. Uh -huh. Clearly, it's one of those two. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid Three sooner than later because these are even with all the cutscenes very short games. Um, we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid Three sooner than later, and weirdly, a lot like Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, they lend themselves to speed running, um, which we will not be doing. Uh, but we're gonna play. We're gonna. I might do it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna play. We're gonna play three, um, and then well, I want the, all of you the, the, to look up the, the Metal Gear Solid Three Pachinko. Uh, uh, pachinko footage. Oh, please. Nice. Oh, just game harder. No, no, just grab his neck. It's fine. I'm not you gonna. Don't need guns. What's he doing with that? Um, I think I'm gonna. No, I'm no, not. You gonna... go to you. No, no, you go to B two. You go straight to B. No, I gotta get the. I gotta uh, get the no, Nikita. Oh, because you need the Nikita. You Duh. Mm -hmm. I need the Nikita, and the Nikita is the reason that I learned not to be. <laughs> Shit. The Nikita is the reason I learned not to be a well actually person. Shit. Because uh, because oh. everybody constantly called it a La Femme Nikita. Uh. <laughs> Was that a thing? Yeah. That's um, dumb yeah, as fuck. You don't remember that show? I, re I remember that show. I, it was I a got, very big Yes. Vamos, Vamos, do it. The uh, the Nikita Launcher taught me it's okay to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> that Oh, the metal, the MGS VR missions are, are smiling in approval. Yeah, I never realized that like those this. last rounds in the tray in the the mag oh, are yeah, yeah, like yeah. an extra way to tell yeah, you whatever. yo you're about to run out. Um, um, the uh, 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 the pro move when you get the bandana is to get the Fomus down to the last three rounds and then then equip the bandana and then you just <laughs> run around with your laser gun. I, I have knew I that think I did an entire run ago, through. I think ago. I I think. I think the one run where I got, I don't know if it was like bear rank or whatever that has the 300 plus kills, that's how I did that. It's just, just running, like grabbing the Fomus as fast as I could past the Revolver Ocelot fight and just uh, doing that. Can I say, this is how you do fixed camera angles. I yes. will even stand for the fixed camera angles in MGS3, problematic though they are, and I know, Bert, you bounced off the fixed camera angles in MGS3. You would have yeah. much preferred subsistence. You, in particular, would have preferred subsistence. That is the version you would have preferred to play. And that's the one we're going to be playing. Yeah, I'll give it a shot sooner. I, did, I played just vanilla MGS3. Um. I have a question. And, who wants who and, wants to wait for one of these men to go to the bathroom and put a C4 on their back? Um, that would be fun. You know what? Yeah, it's your house. Cause, it's your cause house. I'm gonna be, it's your rules. I'm gonna be, this is MGS. It's bathrooms are a thing. I'm going to be... Bathroom politics are a thing. I'm going to be... Politics are... When you go to the bathroom, you get an explosive charge. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm going to be stopping the stream as soon as I've blown up the thing, because that's where I got in the original one. And so we're going to start with the ninja fight um okay oh uh oh <laughs> oh oh wait oh. Yep. Yes! i did it it's on there oh i'm so close oh i'm so close 
Oh. Oh, I'm edging. Oh, I'm <laughs> Stop! Doing... It's a family it's show. A family stream. Coming. You're. Uh... You're on the edge of which glory. Just to, to say, that's I'm the on the point. edge of close. just a really good time. That is definitely the point. Um, every every Hideo Kojima game has piss in it. Uh, and you will all notice he has a little box on his lower back. <laughs> he's washing his hands. Get him! <laughs> yes, yes. The, 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 <laughs> he's watching. The he's washing his hands. <laughs> washing and drying of one's hands. He's washing his hands. This MF. This MF. Absolutely game. usable hand dryer, by the way. Uh, that is absolutely oh, a and I want them. You can I want them. the guards by running by the hair dryer, the hand dryer, and they hear the noise of it. <gasps> yes, yes, this is the only... By the way, I cannot stress this enough. If you have not played this game, C4 is completely useless except for this right here. And I guess also blowing up the uh, uh, walls in the armory. It's That's underneath. it. I, no, there's other ways to use it. It's just people no, don't. there really aren't. No, there aren't. I've I have forgotten more about this game than you'll ever you know. Can, there are can... no <laughs> other uses for C4. You can use it against the ninja fight pretty easily because uh, the the yes. that he spawns in are very uh, are very obvious. <clears throat> so I did it. You yeah. you put C4 on their backs and then they blow up. Um, oh yeah. I remember that being a lot funnier when I was a child. Uh, hey, it's still funny. It's um, still Joe, funny. how do you feel about Snake and Otacon as a canon couple? I feel like it's basically confirmed. Yeah, no, no, that's happening. And it's also that's, sweet. Listen, it was, the, it was the, the alongside Luke and Han. It was my first really important ship. First of all, it's a very important ship. Period. Full stop. Second of all. The alternative is that you explore the implications of Snake, Otacon, and Sunny living on a 777 that is airborne 24-7. Like, no, no. It's Snake and Otacon, and they're a couple. Period. That's and they're, and they adopted, and they adopted you know whose daughter. Yeah. Yeah. They just, it's, it's their, their husbands. And they have a daughter, and it just and it, that's their family, and that's it makes their family. That's, that's how he. That's that's how Snake passes himself on, by te by allowing Sunny to be the best version of herself. And it makes that converse. It makes that line that Otacon has at the end of four. Whoops. Okay. Um, that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that thing that that thing that Otacon says at the end of. Four, uh, I put the mm -hmm. launcher away accidentally. At the end of four, where he's like, Snake had a hard life, um, and now he's going to rest. I don't know, that just means more if they're in a relationship with each other, you know? Yeah. Uh -oh. It's uh not even like a ship that I'm particularly attached to. It's just like, it just makes sense. Yeah, it's a like, better story. It just, it, it, even, even, even if you're like one of those... Hard, hardcore rationalist fucking people like it just it just it just <laughs> it just it works. has that it, it 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 has that sense of like like the way musical harmony is just it's like poetry it rhymes sound 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 falling into a kind of natural rest state you don't need it like that's it it yeah yeah it's just like stop fighting it this is the story maybe is, is it what's intended fuck what's intended like no, this is what is. Um, gas mask. Gas mask. Gas mask. Uh, but I have. But I have I to. I am the, my one. My one overriding complaint about this game is that you cannot defuse a later boss by putting on the gas mask because putting on a gas mask is canonically a way to get around some shit. Is yes. what I'm gonna say. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and that boss is not too far away. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is there not something in this version of the game where, like, you can uh, mess with some, uh, mess with some, like, statues in his room? Yes. Yes, there is. It's, okay. It's I couldn't... very, very convoluted, but if you die, like, three times, the colonel will just straight up tell you if you call him, like... Yeah. Hey, by the way, there are these statues that are busts of him 
just punch them. Okay. And he'll get upset. Because and I'm not only. I'm trying to rem I'm trying to remember figure out how I'm gonna do the controller thing. Uh. Uh. You go into the start menu and just change input from one to the other. There's okay. a way to do that. All right. Um, the the big but thing. Hon I'm but honestly, if you wanted to do if you wanted to do the statue thing, that would be kind of cool because basically nobody documents that. The big thing I remember about this game is there's just so many small mechanics that most people will never even see if they don't really even go into it. Like boss fights have like twenty different things in them. That you yep. Mm. All right, so once it's saved, that marks the end of the stream. And then we're going to play some more middle... We're going to play some more Oddworld on Sunday. Uh, and that's going to be an unlisted... Uh, that's going to be an unlisted live YouTube. Uh, so that only only my sweet, my sweet special patrons uh, can see it. Um, and then Tuesday uh, evening, we're going to play some more Metal Gear Solid. Uh, but for now, this is closing. Um, I think that, I think that the real Pog Champs were uh, the gamers that we met along the way. If you think about it. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, thank you all for helping. It's been a delight game gaming with all of you, and you can hear that I spelled it such that it's uh, spelled wrong. Oh my God, has my mic been going this whole time? It has. Okay. Um, and I'm going to stop recording. Wait.